Yo, what's up? It's your boy Blue Man, aka Doom Wizard. Today's March 13th. Coming at you with a rapid fire news roundup. This is a chart from the latest IPCC, which everybody has seen in 2020, where we got the code red for humanity and no one paid attention. We are on the very, very high emission scenario. So before we get into today's roundup, mostly climate related, please feel free to visit the PayPal link below and contribute to this channel. It is not sustainable at the moment. Again, please consider donating. Let's first start with the Arctic sea ice minimum. We are still trending below, just a few million square kilometers below the 2012 record minimum. So we're getting there. And we know that the far north is burning and turning up the heat on the planet. This from Wired, wildfires and human meddling are transforming the Arctic and surrounding it from a carbon sink into a carbon emitter, exacerbating the climate crisis. It's an audio broadcast, but again, just to cover that organic peat soil and there's huge amounts of CO2 stored in boreal forests and underlying soils covers just 3% of the Earth's land area. There's some tropical regions too, too, yet it contains a third of the terrestrial carbon. Arctic permafrost has locked away thousands of years worth of plant matter, preventing rot that would release clouds of plant, planet heating carbon dioxide and methane. We're about to see a rare and record setting May heat wave. More records broken here, there, potentially record setting heat wave headed for the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada, a sign of a shifter to hotter a sign of a shift to hotter and earlier summers. It is absolutely gorgeous in the collapse of glo I mean, sorry. If you ever get a chance to go back up there, do it during summer. Because it's one of known for its cool, gentle summers. It's serene, okay? Not blistering hot like the south. But that's soon about to change. Low to mid 90s in some areas under the ridge, but the 2021 event shattered all time records at 116 degrees Fahrenheit in Portland, and 170 degrees, 107 in Seattle, and 121 in Lytton. And this has been covered so many times, but need I remind you 107 degrees if you aren't already aware Fahrenheit in Seattle, where most houses have no air condition or central air conditioning, uh, is a lot. Spain's April heat. Nearly impossible without climate change. This from AP News. Record-breaking April temperatures in Spain, Portugal, and Northern Africa were made 100 times more likely by human-caused climate change. A group of international scientists that nobody cares about did a rapid computer and statistical analysis of a late April heat wave that stretched from Iberian Peninsula into Algeria and Morocco. Meat sauce. And they went up there to the hundreds and pass. And we would have been almost impossible in the past colder climate. Can we just take another look up at the global average temperature? Let me just see, you know, what they're talking about. What are they talking about? Uh, yep, it's going right up. Maybe I, maybe I can't see. I, I can't see this. This doesn't, it's too many colors. It doesn't make sense to me. Vietnam and Laos record hottest temperature ever. I've already covered this. In a recent video and more on that in a moment given that they might this from boom bloomberg warns severe heat means another summer of power risks regional electricity shortages expected in the country this summer commodities from aluminum aluminum to rubber crops affected by weather this is blocked i'm not going to get it into it but power risks everywhere though new york where something like 130,000 or is it some crazy number of millionaires live becomes the first state to ban natural gas stoves and furnaces in most new buildings great what about the old buildings still not enough it's a 229 billion dollar state budget containing the provision late tuesday night where are they coming up with 229 billion where do we print this money it requires all electric heating and cooking in new buildings Shorter than seven stories. Oh, great. So more than and taller buildings by 2029. So 2026 and 2029. Just in time when our world is experiencing nuclear power facilities shutting down, uh, mass migration, crop failure, all that. At least we'll have eco-friendly buildings, right? 
Right. World is not even ready to switch off fossil fuels. This from Al Jazeera and United Arab Emirates, which of course isn't going to say we're not ready to switch off. Deep divisions exist among nations that had a combat growing peril of global warming ahead, known as COP28. Oh, so COP28 is coming in Dubai in December. Boycott it, okay? Coca-Cola, all of it. Just blow up Dubai. Just get it. Just get rid of it. Uh, Mind-boggling methane is coming from Turkmenistan. Revealed. This from the Guardian. Leaks of potential greenhouse gas could easily fix, easily be fixed, and would reduce dr rapidly reduce global heating. Oh, sure, they say. If we just take care of these methane emissions in Turkmenistan, two main fossil fuel fields cause more heating, global heating in 2022 than the entire carbon emissions of United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Emissions of potent greenhouse gases from oil and gas-rich countries are mind-boggling and infuriating problem. Yeah, what about all the cap? What about all the leaks? You know, from wells in America and the Arctic and everywhere else, the Gulf Coast, millions of tons. Okay, it's just pumping it out. You knew this. New ice, this is from Science Alert, new ice discovery means glaciers could melt away faster than predicted. A uh, Greenland glacier crunches into the ocean, known as the grounding line, has revealed less stability in the shifting of tides and therefore a greater rate of melting. Finding explains why glacier melts are well surpassing previous forecasts. What? These dynamics are not included in models. If we were to include them, an increased projection of sea level rise by up to 200%. Not just for the Permian, but for all glaciers ending in the ocean, which is the more, which is most of northern Greenland and all of Antarctica. All right, I'm not gonna go through this, but you know the calving uh, in Antarctica, but in glaciers, um, yeah, they they just break apart, accelerates. Okay, what more do you need to know? It's doomed. And birds are trying to keep up. This is from Yale Environment four days ago. Birds are shrinking as the climate warms. And small birds are shrinking faster. Sadly. Temperature rise. Birds' bodies are growing smaller, but their wings are growing longer. Pronounced among the tiniest species. For the research, scientists analyzed four decades of data gathered from migrating birds in Chicago and non-migrating birds in the Amazon rainforest. In both places, birds grew smaller and longer winged over time, a shift that would help them stay cool in warmer weather. One possible explanation is that smaller species tend to reproduce on shorter time scales. The span of one generation is shorter for a mouse, say, than it is an elephant, and as such, they are able to evolve faster. But a new study has found no link between generation length and, gen and changes in body size. Another potential explanation is that smaller species tend to have larger populations, meaning there's a greater chance that one of their member population will randomly develop a new beneficial trait that can be passed on. Why smaller bodied species are changing faster is unknown, though. Okay, our such results suggest that a large body of size could large body size could further exacerbate extinction risk by eliminating the potential to adapt to rapid ongoing anthropogenic change. Thanks, Yale. Some of the first humans, now just some random news. Uh, first humans in the Americas came from China. Well, what, who'd have thunk it? New genetics study finds that some of the first arrivals came during the last ice age, shortly after, and two distinct migrations. So maybe we all came from China. You can go through this article. I'm not quite too much interested now in uh, this, but... On to other news published a few days ago, U.S. banking turmoil is now bigger than the 2008 financial crisis, but the real storm hasn't hit yet. So we're just getting started, he says. Okay. But Mr. Pope over here yesterday said, uh, a few days ago said, uh, pets must not replace children, this psycho. Look at this psycho. Just wanting him to die. Here he is preaching about, Meat sauce. you know, global warming, climate change, having meetings with all these so-called religious leaders and then at the same time he says uh you know starting a family in italy is becoming a titanic effort that only the rich can afford no shit you think boomer you think can't even afford a house difficulty in finding a stable job sky high rents and ins insufficient wages are a real problem he said well pets are replacing children in some households except it was not a baby it was a small dog 
What a psycho. By 2050. Like, why are they... I mean, the dominant narrative to keep this whole thing going, okay, is so strong. And people are so eluded into working harder and and this garbage that we spew out. All right, this has been your climate rapid fire news roundup. Mostly heat waves, power shortages, you know, methane leaks, glacial melts, absolutely every in any way we could screw over the planet and our race, we are doing it. And you're delusional if you can't see that. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to like and support this program. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Doom Wizard out.